The data cloud diaries, the initial mapping and loading of individual data model objects from Amazon S3. Welcome to another episode of the data model diaries. We're going to build on previous videos. We're going to show how we've been bringing in reference data to Amazon S3. This time, what we're going to do is we have a sample file of potential pilots, people. And what we're going to do is we're going to bring them in from S3 and we're going to show the mapping to the individual DMO object. Along the way, we're going to show you some other things like how to query the data through the API, and we're going to go from there. In past videos, I've shown this object model, which is loading reference data from a website called Our Airports. This is an open source website, and it has a number of files, airports, frequencies, comments, runways. What I've done is this is the data model of the data, and we have these files right here. And what I have done is I have brought these in, as I demonstrated in previous videos, bringing airports and runways in, I'm going to be showing you all of these files brought into Data Cloud. In Data Cloud, we have the data streams, which brings the data in. And you can see that I have the runways, the regions, the nav aids, the country, the airports, the frequencies, and the comments. And I brought these in, as per the previous videos, into the data lake objects. And you'll see the corresponding data lake objects, which are essentially one-to-one -one mappings of the data streams. Then I've also created the data model objects. And what I have done is created these from the data lake objects. So these are exact representations. Um, and in fact, what we can do is we can go take a look at a data lake object like um, let us take a look at the airport. So as we look at the data lake object, we see that the field mappings here, we see the original fields in the data lake. And then from here, I can review the mappings. And what this is doing is it's showing the mappings to the data model objects. Because we've created a, a new data model object, in data cloud that was one-to-one, -one, these mappings are all gonna look very symmetrical, just a one-to-one -one mapping. Because this is other, class classified as other data, um, and it is brought in more as reference. So what we have is the data models, and we have all of these data in here. And I can see that by going to the data explorer. Now, as I've mentioned in previous videos, I've loaded this into a data space. So from here, you can go to your data spaces. And I've created a Steve TechArc data space. And these data lakes are mapped into the data space. So this is a way of segmenting your data so it's not, uh, so it's separate between, let's say, business divisions. So now what we're gonna do is we have our, we can actually go to our data explorer and run a query against, let's say, a data model object. And we can look at the airport and this data query will show up to 10 columns and it'll show up to 100 records. And this is showing us the airports. And so what I can do is edit the columns and I could ch choose the name. But first let's remove a field. We're gonna add name. And you can see I now have the names of the first 100 that match this query. So this is our way of being able to take a peek, a, a, win, a 100 record view at our data. Now in a separate video, I'm showing through Postman. I'm gonna authenticate. And now because my data is in a data space, I need to exchange my direct token for, I mean, my, it's exchange my Salesforce token for a direct data cloud token. So here's a separate call. If you want the exact details, you'll go check that. So from here, I will paste in my subject token, go look at that video I showed, paste that in, and now I've exchanged, and now I have a new access token, which is a direct data cloud instance access token. And from here, what I do is put this in the header, paste this here. Now, I can run a SQL statement against the data. So what we're going to do is take a look right here is we had a data model object, OA Airport. 
And if I go to my data model object OA airport, I see its object API name. It's right up here, STA for my data space, OA airport DLM. Now what I can do is go to my query and I can either query a data stream, I mean, excuse me, a data lake or a data object. So this is actually querying my data, uh, my data lake object and I'm grabbing the first 200 that start with KZ. And now I'm able to run this. Now, if I wanted to go query my data, my actual data model object. So data lakes are the original representation, data models are mapped. I can switch back to my Postman and swap the name. Notice that it has the, the um, data space prefix. And now I have data. So through my uh, Postman, I can even, this had a limit of 200, I could go to 500. And when it exceeds a certain limit, then I'm gonna get pagination right here where it's gonna give me the next batch and I can hit that with subsequent batches. Again, show that to you in a second email, second video. So now I have my data. What I wanna do is we are gonna bring in some new sample data. I've created a list of pilots. So this is sample data that I've created, which creates a pilot reference and data, which is essentially Marvel characters plus Star Wars characters. Um, a few others, Tony Stark, Darth Vader, William Riker, so Star Trek, Star Wars, and Marvel, with just first name, last name, email, phone, and a pilot reference. We're gonna show an initial loading all the way through, and then go from there. In my Amazon S3, I have a new folder called Generated Samples, and I've dragged and dropped my sample pilots into there. So now I have that, the sample pilots, and I'm gonna to go to my data stream and I'll walk through creating a new data stream. Picking Amazon S3, you've seen me do this before, and now I'm gonna populate the data. So here I have the bucket, the access key, it's the CSV with the directory folder, file name, and I'm gonna hit next. I'm gonna create a new data lake object to represent this. And what I'm gonna do is it, it is now gonna be of type profile because it's representing individuals. So we're gonna map this to a new data lake object and we're gonna call it gen pilot underscore Amazon S3. So this is gonna be pilot data. Now I'm gonna examine my data and make sure the data types are correct. So I see text for the keys. I have these data types. Now I'm gonna pick my primary key, which is gonna be pilot ref. And I have now created, now I have the data stream ready and I'm gonna hit next. I'm going to give it the, I'm gonna put it in the Steve Tech Arc data space with an upsert and I'm only gonna load it once and I'm gonna go deploy. So now I've successfully created my data stream and it's gonna to start to populate. So we now have the data coming in with our hundred rows we're gonna then go to the data lake object, look at the gen data lake object. And what we're gonna do is this is something different now. Here is where we're gonna be mapping to existing out of the box uh, DMOs. So we're gonna hit start. And this is gonna bring up the file. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a very light initial mapping, and then in subsequent um, videos, we're gonna go deeper into the mapping. But here, I'm gonna select the objects. And what I'm gonna do is I know that this is an individual. So what I'm gonna do is look for individual. Here's individual, and I can see all of the standard fields on the DMO, on the individual DMO. So I've decided this is where I wanna to map to. Now I could map multiple, but at this moment, we're just gonna to map to the single individual. We're gonna hit done. And now it's done an auto mapping. It's mapped first name to first name, last name to last name. The only thing it needs is the primary key. 
So I can take the unmapped fields. And what you can do is you can click over here into a field you want. And now it's going to start stretching it across. And I'm going to click and that's going to map the primary key. So that's a very straightforward exercise. First name, last name, pilot, ref, and the individual ID. This is just a sample load for first. We'll be reloading this and doing it with much more details in subsequent videos. But there's my initial mapping from the Gen Pilot Amazon S3 data lake object to the individual data model object. So I'm going to hit save. And don't worry about the error logging suggested mappings. That is nothing to be concerned about. And now what we're going to do is we can go close. What we can now do is go to the data model. And you're now going to see individual here mapped. So we have the individual object is now mapped in my um, data space. And we can take a look at this by going to the data explorer. Now, when I go to my data space, I now, and I go data model objects, I now see individual is now showing up in my data space. I select it and there's my data. Let's actually edit the columns. And what we're going to do is move first and last together. We'll move individual up, hit done. So now I get to see my individual ID, my first name, Scott Lang, Nick Fury. I get to see my data inside of here. Now I want to show you something powerful. If you want this same data, what we're going to do is we're going to go back and take a look through the, um, we can take this, copy this SQL, and we can go over to our Postman. And what I can do is paste this SQL right here. And now what I actually have is I am hitting, I didn't paste it, I just typed it in, select first name, last name from SDA individual. So this is starting to get the names. And if I wanted, another field so I could have learned from this post. Like let's say I'd wanted the ID C. And I can that add that as another column into my individual. So this way I am now able to pull and I'm pulling this data from my STA individual DLM. So this is querying data directly from my data model, my standard data model object with profile level data populated in. And we've done the mapping with the, the mapping. So in past videos, we've loaded from S3 into the data stream to the data lake objects and even created our own custom DMOs, data model objects. And they were exact representations all the way through. That's because that was unique data in its own format. But now we're taking individual level data about people and we're mapping that to the data cloud standard objects. So we brought in a list of people through Amazon S3, brought them into the data lake, through the data stream to the data lake. And there we did our first level mapping just to the top level individual. In the next video, we'll dive deeper going to more complicated mappings and get walk this process through. I hope this was helpful. Thank you for joining me for Initial Individual. We're going to be joined again, same bad time, same bad channel. Make sure you come to www.stevetechark.com and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Steve Tech Arc. And hope this was helpful and have a great day.